one of the most hotly contested areas in this by-election. The Infoleni region will see residents in at least three wards cast their votes on Wednesday. We are ready to vote for our councillor. The region has been beset with multiple problems, job losses, poor service delivery, corruption and the misuse of municipal funds which has led to the municipality being placed under administration. The administrators have developed a program of action to address service delivery challenges ranging from potholes, road infrastructure, the sewer network, waste and uh, environmental challenges. This process is on course. We have also developed a six-month turnaround service delivery plan. Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Kohta says the municipality remains dysfunctional despite intervention by province. They were unhappy with the manner in which administration has been taking place as well as response to service delivery challenges. But it is, however, not correct that the council is dysfunctional and the administration is dysfunctional. All legislative governance structures, including Section 80 committees, sit together with council. Council meetings are conducted properly, though there might be challenges around the issue of political stability. With wards 21, 43 and 16 in contention, the by-elections will give residents an opportunity to vote for a political party which they believe will improve their lives and political parties are on the ground canvassing for votes. We're just asking that opportunity as the ANC to lead the ward so that we can give the people their services. They cannot make it an Infulani problem. If you're a councillor, you're getting paid to ensure that the area that you're living in has services. So we're saying, as the ANC, Give us an opportunity to make a difference in your life. Give us an opportunity to change the atmosphere. Frankly, national government needs to step in. They already assisted by sending the SANDF for a short time to assist with the sewage issues. Um, SANDF has left the area quite some months ago and uh, the sewage issues continue. The blockages continue, the spillages in the streets, wherever you go, you find sewage running. So national has had a small intervention without very much success as well. Essentially what we need ultimately is for the voters to step in and uh, at the next local government election for them to vote in a party that's able to govern properly and bring some real change for the people of Mfoleni. A new informal settlement called Ramaphosa will be one of the main battlegrounds. There's about a thousand five hundred shacks that have been erected during the lockdown. The uh, ANC candidate, uh, Mr. Madoda, has uh, encouraged people to come and erect shacks here and we found that with the last registration weekend that was added there were an additional thousand people or so that registered to vote in this ward. We tried to go door to door with our people to campaign in this area. What we found is the majority of these shacks are actually empty. 3,500 houses the DA did not do, they failed. So we did not steal anything, we did not do anything wrong. They were supposed to deliver the services to the people, the DA did not do that. I am actually disappointed to hear a leader speak like that on national TV. As leaders we're supposed to build each other, assist each other so that we can make this environment, uh, the, the, the environment for our people better. With the battle lines firmly drawn, the successful candidates in the wards will have to ensure promises are more than just words. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Infuleni region.